Products YouTube channel, everybody. This is a really exciting day today. I am holding Haru. This is our 5050 Cross Coming Eye Samarensis water monitor. He is now the proud father of a clutch of what I'm going to call samurai monitors. We'll get to that in a minute. But I want you guys to see Haru. John Adranya Jr., the Sims container guy, as you see in my shirt. Uh, awesome incubation containers. Uh, produce this guy here. He is a 50% Samarensis, 50% coming eye. Now take a good look at his pattern, his coloration. This is an awesome monitor, guys. This is Haru, proud father of the Samurai monitor. I will reveal them in just a minute. Let me walk around here. You being good. The claws is, or the claws, that's why I'm wearing the gloves, is because of the claws. Um, he is, he's a pretty friendly guy, but his, his uh, claws are next level stuff. They will shred you up. So let me get him knocked up. Miyagi! Give her a rat. Come on, Miyagi! Come on! Come on! She's gravid right now, again. How you doing, Miyagi? Come on. It's alright, don't be shy of the camera. This is a white outline, coming eye. Uh, you know, kind of selectively bred for that gray wash, white outline. Um, also traces back to John Adronia Jr., the white outline. Miyagi, as you can see, definitely grab it again. Uh, we should be expecting eggs in a couple more weeks. All right, real quick, we got a lot of stuff to show you guys today. We're going to move over here to a big surprise that I've been working on. This is my raise-up enclosure for monitors. Um, I do have a pair of croc monitors in here. We're going to go ahead and feed this guy right here. I have them tongue feeding frozen thawed rats already. Come on, bud. You want the rat? It's all right. Come on. There you go, buddy. It's a big surprise. Nice pair of sarong croc monitors. They don't. I don't want to hear no gruff about the uh, enclosure space. These guys have a 12 foot long by six and a half foot deep by. Eight and a half foot high enclosure in the process of being built. This is my way of uh, socializing uh, wild caught monitors and raising monitors up. They are almost ready to come out of this size. I just had to get a little bit more lead way on the socialization. Um, we also use this, like I said, for our raise up monitors. Um, I'm not feeding these ones today. This is our T positive male, Milky Way. You guys remember him. Milky Way, how you doing? How you doing, bud? Come on up here and let's show the camera how you're coloring up a little bit. Look at Milky Way. We do have the T. Got a little shed on him. I miss these enclosures down. The bottom is all water. Um, I do rotate the water for substrate and then a smaller area for swimming, like with a plastic tub every other week, give him a chance to dig. Now once I start noticing, you know, a female of showing signs of cycle, it will always just be like a sandy topsoil substrate. If they get big, then obviously they move to something like this. And over here, this is Buddy's enclosure. Um, I've done a ton of videos on Ember, our, our female, Sumatra. Uh, this is the mom and dad of our own pure Sumatran bloodline. Um, just view through the window right here. I'm going to go in here and feed her her baby rat. She's knocked out in the back. This enclosure is not all the way done yet, as you can tell. Timber! Hey! She's asleep. Timber! Come on. Come on now. Whoa. <laughs> she about took my foot off. This is a good girl, Amber. That 
She's a big girl. Let's go up here. I'm going to show you guys the incubator. Up and home. This is what the world has been waiting to see for so long. 200 days on incubation. Also, as you see, I got a ton of eggs incubating. I have more of these coming up. We're going to come out here to the light so that you guys can get the first sneak peek at the samurai monitor. Oh, and we have one out the egg. He's covered in hatch right. And then here's one right here. We're going to go ahead and put this guy in uh, the water. I'm going to pass him off to my partner. Uh, get him cleaned up. I do have a surprise upstairs. One is uh, already out the egg. I cheated and already looked. I wasn't expecting him to be out the egg when I opened this up. I seen these two pip earlier. Just look at that guy. Hey, bud. As you can tell, totally different than the Samurai or the Sam Samarensis monitor. Um, Matt's going to go ahead and set that guy up into a water container. I'm just going to set this here for now. I'll put him back in the incubator. I want to get some footage here. Uh, let's go upstairs. I want to show you guys uh, the one that's cleaned up and already put inside of a tub here, or a raise up enclosure. This is an actually You guys have seen this before. Go lay down, dogs. Tell my dogs to go lay down. You guys go. Alright. So here is a nice little raise up black dragon. Oh, a startler. A little flighty, but she's coming around. Males, Matt's got the mail right now in his hand. Um, this is uh this is Valerion. We had Valerion, the big, big proven breeder female. Um, I'm, I started the process over. She was just had some age to her and was kind of set in her ways. And the video is not about the black dragons, though. It's about the samurai monitors. And it looks like he's hiding a little bit. Come here. This here is what the world has been waiting to see. All cleaned up. This one came out yesterday. So it has the slime and stuff off of it. I've been socializing it a little bit already. Look at that pattern in them colors. Totally different than the coming eye, the Samarensis, and even the Samming eye. This looks totally different. And it's only a 25% different percentage of hybridization. And John, I, you know, I asked John Adranya if he cared if I called him something, what he wanted me to call him, I was like, should I call him the same thing? He said, no, you know, these are something totally different, a different percentage. So they're going to look different. Call them what you want. So here you go. World's first samurai monitor. We will have a few of these available um, in due time. Uh, also, if I hold, I'm, I know I'm going to hold some of them back, but... We do have more clutches of them incubating as well. That's a that's a beautiful monitor. Some of the best oranges on the back pattern that I've seen thus far with any monitor species. Look at them oranges. And it's only going to get better with age, guys. It's I'm sure it's going to do relatively the same as like the coming eye. It's going to color up with age. So the older... It gets up to the next 18 months or so. It's just going to look better and better. I also want to show you guys just a couple other little projects that I'm working on. I got this little girl here. She's doing extremely well. 
This is an exanthic. I'm hoping it's female. I, I, I want to make some double hats. Um, you know, a little surprise for everybody when she becomes old enough to braid to, like, say, you know, anything, really. Tons of stuff. The, the, the world of monitor morphs is just beginning, guys. And, you know, if anybody tells you any different, they're just, you know, in denial or, you know, they, they're hating. You know, it, even when you think of tegus, tegu percentages of hybridization, that's that's what makes the tegu. You got cherry ice albino, you got albino lemon ice, you got my world's first hurricane albino, you got blue albino, and all it is is different percentages of hybridization. So fact is the reptile industry is evolving, and if you don't like it, hey, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I love it. So, if you like morphs and you like stuff like this T-negative albino that I got from Nerd, just wait till I, you know, they, I think they already have the double heads, but like a double head black dragon T-negative, braid them, braid them together, you're going to get like an all-white solid ivory monitor. And yes, that would be a hybrid. So... I mean, hybridization is where it's at. I mean, I don't know how else to say it. So, back to me. Uh, Matt's holding obsidian. He is in the socialization process. I already know he bites me every chance he gets. So, you know, my hyperactivity right now probably is not going to help. Um, and then the dog's right here. But, you know... We went, we tr we've been going through every different angle of socialization that we could possibly think of with this guy. And now I'm just like, hold him in your hand and walk around until, until he pretty much submits. It's not really the socialized way, but uh, wild cats, it's how I've had to tame Buddy down. Um, over in Indonesia, they actually tie him to a rope and put him on their back and like, you're with me for the next few days. And eventually they, they submit to their owners and it's not my preferred way, but it's acceptable because you don't want one of these black dragons or Sumatrans, you know, water monitors. You don't want any monitor that's just going to attack you and tear you to shreds every chance they get. So by all means necessary, socialize them, monitors. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and I, I will see you later, my reptilians.